And I've come here this morning to try and document on video some of these graves. Now, I've been here before and I've done other gra uh, grave videos uh, of uh, leading figures, industrial figures of Belfast, but there's an awful lot more. Two brothers killed in the First World War. One was in a Canadian infantry and the other one was in Royal Irish Rifles. Royal Irish Rifles. And they were from East Belfast. And they're buried up here. And you wonder why. A silly grave. This is the McElroy grave headstone. And John McElroy Corporal killed in action. Hooge. 1915 and Samuel McElroy Private killed in action at the Somme 1916. Oh dear, this First World War is just carnage. Interesting grave here talking about uh, James Green who was submarined in 1914. Um, I don't think they'd invented the term torpedoed or whatever. He was submarined. One of the earliest uh, First World War graves here in Belfast City Cemetery. And here's the Lands grave and again another two brothers killed in First World War action. One was a captain at the age of 24 when he died and one was a lieutenant at the age of 21. Celtic Cross uh, commemorates a World War II fatality squadron leader and then an, uh, this cross erected and another workman, Edward Workman, lieutenant and he was in the Royal Irish Rifles and he was killed after uh, Le Touque in the First World War and the grave you'll notice, is, is angled differently to the rest. And it is angled so it faces out over the shipyard. Second Lieutenant, Royal Irish Rifles, killed in action, Cambrai, France, age 20. This is the war grave of Robert Thompson Finnegan. Motor Transport ASC killed in action near St. Quentin, France, 1918. Aged 19. And this is Nurse Gertrude Annie Taylor, who was a nurse in the Voluntary Auxiliary Detachment in the First World War. And very rare that I would ever come across any. Uh, ladies graves uh, that are associated with First World War. She lived in Strathairn. She lived in Strathairn. 1st of July 1916, aged 18, Robert Gibson. And that was at the Somme. This is William Smiles, Captain Royal Irish Rifles, killed in action at over, 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 over the years. In 1916, age 34, and then Samuel Smythe, second lieutenant, killed in action Flanders, and then 1970, uh, that was in 1917, then Lieutenant Colonel Sir Walter Smiles, and he died at the uh, Princess Victoria sinking. 1954. And another military uh, death here of a guy who directed uh, coastal defences and it's also got They Shall Not Grow Old inscription up on the cross section of the cross. Never seen that before.